the Freddy Gibbs dripping mafia beef is kind of crazy. One of us got the asshole spread online. One of us don't. Gets the ass beat annually like family matter. Neighborly day in this beauty wood. The neighborly day for a beauty. Would you be mine? Who's really gangster? I'm gangster, nigga. You haven't done anything gangster in your whole motherfucking career. I have always wanted to have a neighbor just like Morning. you. Except get your ass beat, get your baby mama fucked on camera, and get embarrassed. Won't you please? Won't you please? So stay in the gym, bro, because it's useless. Could you be mine? Won't you be my neighbor? Over the past day, we've seen these two dudes go at it in, I think, the most hilarious ways ever. Which obviously started with JPEG Mafia just starting to drag him on Twitter for absolutely no reason, okay? And I, I know, it just sounds stupid, right? Like, JK, are you gonna cover every single rapper beef? Number one, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Number two, there's actually a very special angle to this. They're actually in the same hotel. <laughs> but this beef has been very one-sided, okay? While you see JPEG Mafia go off at Freddie Gibbs and all of the videos and tweets he's been posting to his Twitter and Instagram and everything, you see the other side of the drama with Freddie Gibbs just kind of like chilling, having breakfast and like going to the gym. While JPEG Mafia is sitting in his room, getting mad at everybody on Twitter over the mildest things, um, which I will get into in a second, you see Freddy Gibbs just enjoying life and absolutely trolling JPEG Mafia. <laughs> it's almost amazing because if JPEG Mafia's issue with Freddy Gibbs was really that bad and if he was really as weak as he claims, wouldn't be the most realistic path just going downstairs? <laughs> I, I feel like they have to make up. It's like a rom-com at this point. I also think considering the whole like JPEG Mafia and like Twitter meltdowns, personally They've kind of made me lose respect for Peggy. Like, I've voiced that I'm like a fan of his music or whatever, but just some of the stuff he says, like getting mad over people for like questioning him working with Kanye, like, man, I think he needs to own it. Like, there's no way around this, and him just like absolutely sawing out about this on Twitter is just kind of embarrassing. I, so, which actually led me to chime in on this by saying that JP Mafia needs to get a real drop, which is not a joke tweet, but actually, my opinion, all of my tweets are very serious. My response was to be immediately blocked by a JPEG Mafia. Seeing this like grown dude, like guy who is like actually potentially like an accomplished artist, just sitting in his fucking hotel room, like tweeting every fucking single second something about somebody who's like, it's just fucking pathetic, man. Like, come on. I don't know. Peggy's lost like a lot of the goodwill I've had for him. Come on, man. Like, you can do better. <laughs> Also, if Freddie Gibbs and JPEG Mafia went band for band, like, I feel like Freddie Gibbs would obviously win. Like, I don't think JPEG Mafia has made something as good as Pinata. I, I, you can fight me on this, I don't care, fucking. You guys have a great one, and see you in the next one. Bye bye What's the deets? In the crib, you can swallow for weeks. Watch your energy, watch what you tweet. You can go from Eli to Yay to Weed.